Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have a feature update to announce for the Divi Responsive Helper. This is version 1.3, so let's take a look at what is new and what is improved in this update. All right, so let's take a look here at what is new in the Divi Responsive Helper 1.3. So we improved some things and we added a couple features. Um, this is kind of one of those updates that could look like a small one, but it's actually kind of a big one in the back end. Um, the first thing here that we'll mention is Divi Theme Builder support. And this was kind of a mistake that we totally missed adding support for this in 1.2. So we have full support now. So when you're in the Divi Theme Builder templates, you'll now have the presets and custom, you know, the custom preview size there in Divi Theme Builder templates. All right. So that should make you happy. Another one here, and I'll explain this one, is we removed the auto open feature from certain fields. And you might say, well, you know, why are we removing a feature? Well, it's an improvement. Um, what, what was happening is it would confuse people fields like an image field or uh, a text field, for example. They, what would happen is they would open those tabs and then go ahead and add an image or add some text. And then what would happen is later they'd realize, hey, that image or that text is not showing up on tablet or mobile. And that's because it was added when the tabs were open. So in that case, technically you would have had to go and copy that same text to each device and that same image for each device. Um, but it's really not that helpful to do that. So instead you would, you know, wait until you're done. You've already added your content and your images and you're ready to optimize your site. And then you would use the auto open tabs feature to go through your site and make it responsive. One of the new features in this update is you can now exclude pages from the widow fixer. I'm going to jump over to the website here and show you what I mean. So when you go into the Divi responsive helper, the widow fixer tab, and you have these things turned on, right? There's this new toggle here. It says exclude pages. So what this does, you know, literally allows you to choose pages that this will not apply to. So if you're fixing your widows in your text and you have it at three for paragraphs or something, and you turn on exclude pages, there would be a whole list of pages here. Now on my site, I only have this one, but you'll click on it and you'll see it changes to that red X and that's not included anymore. You can see from my screenshot kind of how it would look if you have a lot of pages and certain ones that you want to exclude that for some reason, you don't want that feature working on that page. Another new feature that's an add on to one of our most popular features is we separated the column stacking order for tablet and phone. And this took a whole lot of extra coding. And that's why I say it may seem like a small update, but it's actually a big one. So what happened is before you could only set the actual order that the columns would stack um, on either tablet or on phone, but there was no way of doing each one independently. And so we've, we've rewrote this and now you can actually choose the order for our tablet and for mobile. So you can actually change the order as it transitions from the tablet size to the mobile size. And then there's some bug fixes. We actually went through and updated a lot of terminology, just little things like instead of saying mobile, we should say phone because that's what Divi calls it phone. Um, but there were other ones um, submitting this to the Divi marketplace where you know it's a third party marketplace for selling Divi products. They have a very, very strict product submission process and they check everything. And so there were a couple of things that they pointed out. Um, some were extremely picky and super minor and actually cost us a lot of extra time and money trying to fix um, that really wouldn't have mattered. There was nothing wrong you know, with the past versions, but those things are all quote, fixed in this update and um, it's ready for the Divi marketplace. I also want to point out that we have completely updated our documentation area. And now I can say without a doubt that we have covered everything and there should be no more questions. Um, we've really gone through everything. We have kind of a more of a getting started page 
um, walk you through it. And we have this new page that I've got to show you. Um, we've added, um, you know, things like the frequently asked questions, the change log roadmap, list of popular device viewport sizes. So that's really handy. Um, but let me just show you this one page here. Um, we basically are starting this new thing with all of our documentation where it's like a list of all the features and settings in our modules and in the plugins. And it's kind of this cool system where it shows you what features are available, but it also is kind of like a change log and it's also kind of like a roadmap. So I've never seen anything like this. Um, it's kind of creative. I really like it. Um, basically here you can start to see that I have this little version number here highlighted in green and those are the ones that were included. And then we have little screenshots, we have explanation, all the text to describe what that setting does. Um, but then you'll see like some things here have a different color. And when I'm recording this, the 1.3 isn't out. So it has this different color and I think that's really cool. So that'll change. And then you might want to keep an eye on this. You know, we might add something, it'll say 1.4 or something like that. And it'll be in that, in that color. So here is this page, like just kind of is an overview of everything. But then, like I said, we've updated all the documentation. So think of that other page as the overview page. And then these here are the guides on how to actually use each feature. So for the preview size, we added this whole section. Why do we need this? What does it do? You know, how to use it. And then we have, you know, screenshots, explanations, and then, you know, we have the, the GIFs or GIFs right there on each item, just kind of showing you, you know, quickly what the feature does. So we're really excited about this. This feels like, you know, this is going to cut down on some of the questions and also just make everything clear and helpful. And that's what we want to do. We want to make everything really easy here. Again, you can see for the auto open responsive tabs, we just say, why do we need this? What does it do? And then it gets into how you can use this and then seeing it in action. And I'll just show you this one more, the column stacking, since this is new. Remember with column stacking, we have the column order and then the column number. So how many columns stack side by side and the order that they stack. Remember, you can control this in Divi with our plugin. So here you can see some of the screenshots. Um, and here's a demo of the column stacking order. This demo is new because, like I said, this has been updated in 1.3 here. So in this demo, you can see right there, I'm clicking, going to the column and then selecting the order and you'll see it switch. There you go. And then this one down here is the number of columns. So right there, you can see that feature being turned on. And then right there, it's one column on middle by default. And you can see it's going in and I'm gonna pick something different. Just like that, you can control how many columns so easy so i hope you guys enjoy this um, and let us know what features you want to see we have actually some some new ideas for this plugin some new responsive features so we're excited about that we'll be adding them to the change log here and to the list of settings so you can look out for that as well there you go that's a look at what is new in the divi responsive helper we continue to improve this and we want to know what features you would like to see added. We have a couple of ideas for responsive features to add, um, but we would love to hear from you. We want to continue to improve this plugin and make it as best as possible. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video.